Twitch chat room, take one. How does social media impact the way you see yourself? That one hurts a little bit. I think that social media has very negatively impacted the way I view myself. It makes me almost feel less of myself a lot of times and just struggle with my insecurities. It negatively impacts the way I see myself by making me feel like I'm not doing enough. Social media makes me feel like I have to prove myself. It makes me like think less of myself a lot of times. Like I see all these different people having the time of their lives or just like, you know, it, it makes me feel like they don't have any worries and like, I don't know, it brings out my insecurities a lot of like, well, like, am I doing good enough right now? Or like, do I look good enough? Mm -hmm. Or like, why can't I meet this standard? And I don't know, it's, I know it's a lot of things that people struggle with. FOMO is a real issue for me. <laughs> <laughs> I see all my friends like hanging out or posting on their stories. Mm -hmm. And when they don't invite me, I'm like, Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And I always think it's like a personal attack. Like they genuinely were just like, mm, I don't want to invite Hannah. Mm -hmm. I'd say when I'm looking on social media, I'll see people with their influencers, especially. And like mm -hmm. they got that big number of followers. And I'll look at them, look at my base, and like, I don't, I'm like, man, like, I wish I had that. I could do so much with that. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it makes me feel like I have to prove myself. Yeah. Like, I have to constantly be making myself look cool or, like, be exactly. making people want to be like, I want to be her. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I always feel like I have to put on my best self yeah. when most of the time I'm not my best self. Insecure is probably one of my biggest problems that I have. Um, but for me, I know if I realize that it is something, it's something that always is replaying in my mind. Just mm -hmm. a constant, like, voice in my head saying, you are not enough. Like, there is... Like, why do you even try to compare yourself to these people? You're, you're never gonna measure up to that standard or something yeah. like that. I feel like I know it's an insecurity when it's a constant negative thought mm -hmm. yeah. that just keeps replaying in my head. Mm -hmm. And it's like, usually it makes me feel very like depressed and mm -hmm. down just because like I think so less of myself and so mm -hmm. negatively, negatively of myself. Yeah, I know like I have an, an insecurity when I'm always like, catching myself being like, I wish I could fix that. I wish I could yeah. change that. Mm -hmm. I hate that about myself. Like, I don't like that. Like, I'm trying, I'm like purposely trying to hide it on social media or like people that see me in person. So it's like, I don't want them to see that. That's how I know like, wow, like, yeah. <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> or when I go to extreme measures trying to like fix it. I feel like if you got like a body insecurity, you notice yourself always trying to like, yeah. it's like an impulse like, oh, I don't wanna go out like this real quick. Let me oh, throw yeah. something on. Mm -hmm. Or if you got something wow, like your like whatever, like your house or jeans, you're always trying to like, let's meet up somewhere else. Like you're always trying to, it's an insecurity about yeah. yourself. A lot of times it just holds me back from who I like truly am. Cause mm -hmm. I know like God has this plan for me, yeah. but my securities and in insecurities, let's do that. <laughs> and fears are just like, always weighing me down. Like, I, I want to reach the top. I want to be where God wants mm -hmm. me to be. But it's that constant weight of just yeah. dragging me down. Like, past, like, things that you've done in the past to come up, and they told you, like, oh, they'll never look at you. They're going to look at you like mm -hmm. you're disgusting. They're not going to like you. They, know what you. they don't know what you've done. So I feel like definitely some, like, past, like, either relationships, bad, like, sinning that you've done, like, yeah. it's just those little insecurities that hold you back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, like, I feel like it really held me back, like, on my faith and on, like, my spiritual journey because, you know, it says in the Bible that God created us in His image. So when I see myself as, like, worthless, as horrible, as ugly, as, like, oh, those things, like, I feel like I accidentally project that onto my image of God and, like, who He is because, like, I'm like, well, if He created me perfect in His image and I'm not perfect, then how is He, you know, yeah. like... Right. I think a lot of my insecurity comes from a selfish and prideful place mm -hmm. um, because all my insecurities are all about me. Yeah. It's like, I'm not good enough. I'm not doing good enough. Um, I can't do this because like my voice isn't good enough or I can't do this because I can't leave these people because it's so easy to like sit in the sadness of that insecurity mm -hmm. and not want to do anything about it. Like just be like, it's normal. I mean, it's normal to be insecure, right? Everyone's insecure. Yeah. And so it's easy to sit in that sadness in that like worthlessness and just be like, okay, well, this is how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. right. Instead of like working at like turning it around and not making it so prideful and selfish, yeah. you know? And like with like, you can use your story because we know that God uses your messes mm -hmm. and turns it into messages. Yeah. Like when we, when we realize that, then we should have like no doubt just to reach out to everybody mm -hmm. else. Like, let's go tell our story. Right. And tell us like 
what our insecurities are, we project them out and we hand them to God and just let him have it. Let him take the chains off. So, What's an insecurity that you're struggling with right now? Would be not being the leader God created me to be. Not putting out the influence he has put in me to put out. I feel like one of my biggest insecurities right now um, is just like my faith. Like there's just been a lot of stuff that like I really feel like I need to trust God or I feel like God is leading me to a certain direction and I feel like I can't yeah. fully like dive mm. into that and fully take a leap of faith. Yeah. Like when it comes to like college, am I gonna go to college? Am I gonna work somewhere else? Like mm -hmm. it's just been like I've been asking God for like these answers and these like signs and for him to give me like a chance to like fully show him my faith and to take a leap of faith. I'm getting those chances and it's turning to be like so hard. My insecurity, or I guess one of them right now, a big one for me, is not enough for those around me yeah. and because a long time for my, like a long time for me, I've been told that I'm gonna be a great leader. But when I see myself, I see like, how can I ever be the one to just have the, like be the role model for, yeah. for other people yeah. and like, <clears throat> I wish that I could see what they see in me, mm -hmm. kind of thing. My biggest insecurity lately has just been not feeling good enough for God's calling um, on my life. Um, and the saying that's like, um, God calls the, pre or sorry, God doesn't call the prepared, He, um, he prepares the calling, yeah. um, has been a really convicting statement in my life just because I am such a perfectionist and I feel like I need to be perfect in my craft and I feel like I need to be perfect in my calling from God, um, which is just like unattainable. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. But I get so caught up in that to the point where I just like break down because I'm just like, I'm not good enough. Like, why are you calling me to something that I can't, like I'm not good enough to do? So much, yeah. um, and it's just like, who am I to deny God's calling because I'm still working on getting better? Yeah. What would it look like to take a step to overcome that? I mean, honestly, I'd say like comparison does kill joy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. don't compare. Like the joy, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that sounds so easy to do, but is in reality so hard mm -hmm. to do. And so I think for me, especially with like comparison, um, like it really is the thief of, thief of joy um, and it's taking away my passion behind what I'm doing mm -hmm. yeah. with everything yeah. because I compare myself so much. It's just taking away the purpose and the passion. Um, and I've always been a really passionate person about what I'm doing. And so to see that comparison, taking away that passion is like yeah. breaking me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's something that I've come to realize more and more than I have just very recently. Like even just being able to like, talk with you guys, like it's just such a big step for me Mm -hmm. and like breaking my insecurities yeah. and just being able to come out and just talk about my relationships and yeah that's strong what's one thing you've learned from this conversation i learned that comparison definitely kills and steals joy yeah i think i learned that you know that like we need to like take a leap of faith we need to step yeah. out of our comfort zone if we really want to like mm -hmm. get through through like our insecurities and our dark times and stuff like we really need to just fully trust in God. It's really scary mm -hmm. and it's hard, but we have a community that He provided for us yeah. and that we just need to, you know, trust Him yeah. because He's always been there for us. I think for me, it's identifying that selfishness and insecurity um, and that, um, that the insecurities that like I have shouldn't stop me from like my calling, for you sure. know? Like I need to, I need to stop letting it hinder me from like doing what God is calling me to do. Yeah. Because it's coming from like a selfish and prideful place. 